Welcome to Show's World Gamers, Josh here, and welcome back to the channel where, well, I did it. I bought one of those Nintendo alarm clocks, the Alarmo. So I thought we'd check it out, go ahead and unbox it, see what comes in the box. We'll take a look here, looking at the front of the box. Looks pretty basic. One thing that surprised me is how small the box is. I thought the alarm cl clock was going to be quite a bit bigger than this. Look at the side of the box here. Stop the alarm by getting up. That's pretty cool. Looking at the back, it does say it's compatible with bed sizes twin to king. Now, one thing with that is, so I did not buy this for myself. I could not buy this for myself because I do not sleep by myself. And of course I sleep with my wife, but for this to work correctly, it only works with one person in the bed. So I wasn't initially going to order this, but my son saw it, thought it was pretty cool. He wanted one, so I went ahead and ordered it. Now, one thing with these, look at this side here. Um, the only place to get to order these as of right now is through the Nintendo website. You do have to be a Nintendo Switch Online uh, account holder, and you can order one through there. Or I have heard that they did have them, although I think they're sold out right now. I don't know how what kind of restock is going to be for these at the store in New York. But let's go ahead. Let's check this thing out. It does show here. Let's see. So it does have to face the center of the bed. It needs to be within arm's reach. And it can't be more than 8 inches above the bed. There's 35 different unique alarm styles. That's pretty cool. It's got a screen on the front, but let's open it up, see what comes in the box. All right. Got some warning stuff here. Cardboard. Get that out of the way. got the device here. All right. And it does come with a USB-A to it looks like USB-C adapter to plug it in. Now it doesn't come with the brick to plug it in, but it does come with that adapter. But let's open this up here and see the alarm clock itself. All right, and there it is. And yeah, it is quite a bit smaller than what I expected. I thought it was going to be quite a bit bigger. In comparison, here is it compared to the size of a Switch game. So it's it's quite a bit smaller. Like, I thought it was going to be a little bit taller. But it does have the screen here. I thought it was going to be about double that size, maybe as, you know, close to as tall as a Switch game, but let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. All right, let's plug it in. So it plugs in underneath. All right, so it is plugged in. It says you turn the top to press it. All right, it's on English, so we'll go ahead and... I, I like this top, the button here. It looks like it has a, a mail slot and a return, which is interesting. So we'll press that to confirm. If you can, you can... Okay, this is the back button. So you can use the back button to go back. We'll go ahead and press next. We are in the Americas. Uh, we are in the Pacific time zone, so that's us. All right, today's date. All right, so 10. I really like the, the turning thing on here. This actually works really nicely. All right, and it is 2024, the current time. Now this can connect to Bluetooth and that's the way you're going to be able to update with, you know, new graphics and stuff. So that is the correct time. 
All right. We'll go ahead and let's get the volume all the way up so you guys can hear it. Got some awesome Mario music going there. Try waving your hand towards the screen. Oh, look at that. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, place the clock on a flat surface, then move your body left and right. All right, let me... Just kind of do this to try and get it to pick. All right, so we were able to get that. So we'll move it this way. See if we can. All right. <coughs> So we did that, we got both of the coins. Try moving further away, then coming closer. So I'll set this here. And we'll try doing that. We're coming closer. We're gonna try it this way so that <laughs> camera's not <there. laughs> Closer away, closer away. It's got pretty good sound there. Okay, it says that the clock's motion sensor can tell when we move our body. That's pretty cool. Its range of detection is called the sensor zone. Now we'll set up the clock's sensor zone. All right, so this is where we're gonna set it up once it's in the bed. So we're not gonna be able to do that here in this video, but I am gonna get this thing set up and we'll let my son use it for a couple days. And then we'll be back, we'll do another video. We'll do a review, we'll see what he what he thinks of the see what he thinks of the alarm clock how he likes it stuff like that kind of give you guys some insight as to how everything works but so definitely stay tuned for that if you're new hit that subscribe button uh, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button what do you think of this I'm personally a hundred dollars is pretty steep for an alarm clock now I did say that if you um if you sleep with two people in the bed, it will not work. It does have where you can switch to where it basically just works like a regular alarm clock without all the motion sensor stuff. But you're paying $100 for a, an alarm, just a regular alarm clock then. doesn't have an AM, FM radio, nothing like that. So that would be pretty steep. But my son's going to check this out. We'll see what he thinks of it. We'll do a video where we talk to him about it and kind of get some ins and outs of how the alarmo works but let me know in the comments what you think so far of the nintendo sound clock alarmo shoge world out